It started with a sunset and ended with a sunrise, reminding us that the journey is made of as many arrivals as departures. Intrigued by a documentary about the Silk Road race that took place in Kyrgyzstan and which was said to be one of the most difficult, we knew where we would live our next adventure. Central Asia. On arrive où Au pas, au pas, au hôtel, juste là-bas. La frontière, hein Oui, la frontière. Allez où Juste là-bas. Oui, allez. Pour le plus noticeable change is that here in Kyrgyzstan there is no asphalt. It is really, really, really bumpy. Pebble tracks. As you can hear and see, it's very hard to keep uh, steady. But it's beautiful. Kyrgyzstan is a dream of rock and dust holding the savor of surprise on each corner. A country where reaching the sky is made easy for the many peaks and passes it holds. A delightful sensory feast, an endless pleasure for the eyes and the ears when you bathe in the silence of the night, hear the shriek of an eagle, a running torrent, the wave crashing on the shore of a lake, or a distant prayer call. Waking up every day in a different place felt truly magical. Every morning, we opened our tent and contemplated the natural treasure that surrounded us, realizing how lucky we were to be in such beautiful and peaceful places. Whether we had set camp on top of Charing Canyon in Kazakhstan or on the beach of a Kyrgyz lake, the immense joy of experiencing the landscape's ever-changing perspective and the local culture from within was ever enthralling. In this country, the mountains are surprisingly varied, and we were amazed to discover so many differences in a single day of riding through them. We saw some very arid and barren peaks wrinkled like an old person's skin. Some lush and green mounds looking like meadows, some reminding us the sand dune of the Sahara Desert. Others in step pyramid-like shape, as if we were in Egypt. Some massives with small and dried vegetation making them look like bearded men. We're not always cycling. Sometimes we're pushing. <laughs> we saw some peak going straight up to the sky like impenetrable walls, as well as many snow-capped peaks as though they were wearing hats. The range is never stopping to offer more peaks and more cliffs. A mountain followed another, a peak hid another, a turn and yet we discovered more rocks, more clouds, more shade, more sands and stones in what looked like frozen in time's landslides. 
and more giant walls of petrified matters, and more, and more, an infinity, a pure amazement, a surreal world of wonders. The terrain proved more challenging than we had anticipated during our very summary planning of the route. Kyrgyzstan is a land of stones and potholes, of washboard roads and destroyed paths. Most of the network is not paved or under construction, yet it is constantly used by the many buses and lorries that carry goods around the country. The bumpy roads were slower and also became problematic when they created mechanical issues, especially for Azure's and Ropu's bikes. But an adventure is not only made of miles swallowing, of river crossing and suspended bridges, passes climbing and other exploits of that sort. An adventure is made of problem solving. A mechanical problem is part of the adventure. It is the adventure. Is it good? No, it No. Now it works, it's fixed, guys. Woo! During this tour, we discovered that with goodwill, a bit of luck, calmness and measured thoughts, we could manage to overcome most issues and that very often the fear of the problem was more worrying than the problem itself. <laughs> During our trip, we have been amazed by the incredible and incomparable generosity of the Kyrgyz people. We have constantly been offered places to stay and rest, food, unsolicited help, water, rides, recommendations and advice. We even became friends with some of the locals whom we met several times at different places during the journey. Food in Central Asia may not be the most refined, however, we ate some of the best kebabs, amazing dumplings and soups, and what made it all the best was when we were invited to share the food with the locals. A piece of bread with butter and jam never tasted as good as when we ate it in the company of locals who kindly offered us to join their table. It happened many times, and to be fair, we never refused because what happened during these improvised meals goes way beyond the taste of the food. It creates pure human connections. The main lake in Kyrgyzstan is Isikul Lake, which is so huge that it feels like a sea. It is indeed the second largest alpine lake in the world, and its water is lightly salty. We traveled around it following its south bank and have fantastic memories swimming in its breathtaking turquoise blue water, all while gazing through the pure air at the distant and misty mountains on the north bank of the lake. When we stayed to rest and enjoy the magic of Songkul Lake, we were amazed to see a match of a local game called Kukburu. The fight was genuine. The speed and amount of horse riding skill those men had were just as real as the sheer violence and brutality of the battle. We were mesmerized, taking pictures and cheering each time a team scored. Thank you. 
we thoroughly enjoyed the tour, as much for the cycling than for the human connection we made, the landscapes and the abundant nature, the hordes of animals that roam freely in the open lands, because here there are no fences and the land seems to be a shared property. The plains, mountains, rivers, lakes, villages and towns, the last vendors before climbing up the mountains, the shop in the back room of a house, a bike repair workshop in a private courtyard, a transport container becoming a restaurant, a yurt with a stove to spend the night, a horse that comes to tell you good night, neighing just by your tent, a breakfast in a caravan with a fantastic family, the police stopping cars to help hitchhiking, the shared pot of kumus with a lovely Kyrgyz family who lent us their backyard to stay, the people stopping on the road to make sure we were fine. The language we could not speak but was never a barrier to share. Oh yes, indeed, we adored discovering these two fantastic countries that are Kazakhstan and Kyrgyzstan.